Hello and welcome to my another video. This is Delwar Hussain in front of you with this new video. I am going to elaborate some historical judgments of Honorable Supreme Court of India passed in 2018 on criminal law. It is seen that in 2018, Supreme Court of India has delivered some historical judgments such as on adultery and on unnatural offenses that means section 497 of IPC and 377 of IPC such historical judgment also pronounced in 2018 here I am going to elaborate and trying to highlight such historical judgments number one Joseph Schrein versus Union of India in that case Honorable Supreme Court of India passes judgment that section 497 IPC which criminalizes adultery held to be unconstitutional we all know that what is adultery adultery is an offense if any person involves in sexual activity or sexual acts with another person's wife then such activity or acts will be known as adultery if any person involves sexual activity with another person's wife then such offense is known as adultery after passing judgment in 2018 in case of joseph shrine versus union of india section 497 of ipc which criminalizes adultery held to be unconstitutional there are second naftes naftes Singh johar and others versus union of india section 377 of ipc which criminalizes voluntary sexual acts between consenting adults held to be unconstitutional 377 of ipc defines unnatural offenses if any if any male person involves in sexual activity with a male person or if a female person involves in sexual activity with a female person or if a man involves sexual activity with any male then such offense is known as unnatural offenses in 2018 honorable supreme court of india naftes shrim johar and others versus union of india delivered judgment that section 377 of ipc which criminalizes voluntary sexual acts between consenting adults held to be unconstitutional if any male person involves in sexual activity with a male person then that was the offense before 2018 under section 377 ipc but after delivered the judgment in Navadesh Shrim Zohar and others versus Union of India such voluntary sexual acts between consenting adults held to be unconstitutional. That's why these two judgments are very historical and important. Who are interested to appear in the public prosecutor examination of Assam in 2023 or maybe 2024, such ruling is very important. Please keep in mind. Thereafter, number three, Mallikarjun, Mallikarjun Kodalgi versus State of Karnataka. Victim can file an appeal in the High Court against acquittal of the accused without seeking leave to appeal. If any case accused is acquitted, then victim has power to file an appeal before the High Court against such acquittal of the accused without seeking leave to appeal. This was the important judgment. Number four, Achpal, Elias, Ramswaru, and another versus State of Rajasthan. Accused is entitled to default bail under section 167 sub clause 2 of CRPC even when such a file by police is returned by the magistrate on technical grounds. In their judgment, Honorable Supreme Court pronounced that accused is entitled to default bail under section 167 sub clause 2 of CRPC 
even when searched file by the police is returned by the mainstay on technical grounds. Sometimes it is seen that on the search sheet, some error has been committed by the uh, police officials. That's why if such type of error is committed by the uh, police officials during the period of filing search sheet, then default bail benefit should be given to the accused. Such judgment is delivered by the Honorable Supreme Court in case of Achpal alias Ram Swarup and another versus state of Rajasthan. This was the four important and historical judgments of the Supreme Court of India passed in 2018. I am already elaborated uh, shortly before you. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.